night of sleep I think I've ever had in my life. Well, it should have been, honey. You're sleeping on a $5,000 mattress with $5,000 sheets and the indentation of a 5,000-pound man. <laughs> hey, listen. Thanks for staying over last night. It, it really helped. I'm glad I could be here. You know, at one point during the night, I looked over at you while you were asleep. You looked so innocent and peaceful. Kind of freaked me out. <laughs> God, I love this nightgown. It's just so roomy. Honey, that's not a nightgown. That's one of Stan's fitted tees. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 that's okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, look at the time. I gotta get going. Honey, are you sure? You don't want to at least stay for breakfast? No, 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 that's okay. I'll just grab some Oreos out of the bowl at my bank. <laughs> oh, wow. I love that color. What is it? Grace, there's no color. They just cleaned off your toes. <laughs> Still, it's nice. Miss Gannon, time to get up. Hey, how about bringing the volume down to foghorn level? <laughs> up yours, Count Druncula. <laughs> I wish I could. I just, I've got to clean my apartment. I've got to pick up my dry cleaning. For breakfast this morning, we're serving French toast. The masseur comes at two. And the movie in the media room this afternoon is softcore porn for women. Maybe I should stay a little longer. Wow, I've never been to this part of the manse before. Oh, well, that's the gift wrapping room. That's the meat locker, discotheque, car wash, and then down here we have liquor storage, liquor collectibles, liquor dry goods, emergency liquors, and candles. <laughs> Dipped in liquor. And uh, I thought I'd set you up here in Stan's library. Where does this door go? <laughs> what door, honey? This door. There's no door there. You need to get your eyes checked. Why don't you go see optometrist? Ten doors down on the right, just past Spencer's gifts. Come on. Wait a minute. It's not one of those doors you open and then fall off the side of the building, is it? Of course it's not. Those are all marked door sticks. Push hard. <laughs> Come on, Karen. I want to look at the door. All right, I'll tell you. It's not that big of a deal. It's just that. Well, that's, that's the forbidden room. The what? The forbidden room. <laughs> wow, so dramatic. The forbidden room. Reminds me of my nickname at camp. Forbidden fruit. Unless I was in a sleeping bag, then it was fruit roll-up. I'll take these. The color really brings out my ass. Come on, focus! We're not here for you, we're here for the homeless. They are so lucky. I hope they know how lucky they are. All right, well, let's just jump in. Okay, here's a sweater. Here's a hat. Here's my arm! Here's my heart! I can't do this! Karen, of course you can do this. No, I can't! It's like giving away your own children! No, it's harder. You can always have another kid, but our man's only made this print once. Now, give me one good reason why a man can't go out in a nice pillbox hat. Hello, Reason. 
Oh my God, look, there are actually pills in here. <laughs> Come on, put that away and help me out. Every item has such sentimental value. Let me oh, take this dress. Stan gave it to me on our honeymoon, and to this day, every time I wear it, he can't keep his hands off of me. Sayonara. <laughs> Have a phone call. Hey, don't just barge in here barking orders at me. I'm in the middle of the hardest thing I've ever had to do. It's your pharmacist. Honey, I have to take this. <laughs> All right, I can handle it. Oh, you can handle it. Interesting. You know, I have spent most of my adult life and millions of my husband's dollars learning about fashion. What are your qualifications, hmm? Um, I'm gay. <laughs> I do without you. You never have to worry about that. No. <laughs> I'll start with the Poochies and Gucci's and work my way to Fiorucci's and Susan Lucci's. <laughs> <laughs> Once I was lost, but now I am found. Dr. Marcus? Yes. Uh, there's a Dr. Morty here to see you. Oh, great. Tell Danny to come on in. Oh, suddenly I work for you, too. <laughs> Karen, I'm, I'm really sorry to do this here, but this trip came about so fast, uh, they had to get my paperwork started, so Danny offered to come and bring it by for me. Oh, good. I finally get to meet the famous Dr. Morty. Leo's going to Guatemala with him. Her. Huh? Hi. I'm so sorry to intrude. Leo, your papers. Thank you. Danny, this is Will and Jack, Karen, Lazario. Hi. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Hello. <laughs> this is my wife, Grace. Oh, Leo never mentioned he was married. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he talks about you all the time. Oh, all the women at the hospital, they hate you. <laughs> and one of the male nurses. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned you too. Although, when he said Dr. Morty, I pictured an old blotchy Jew who kept saying, you call this dinner? <laughs> You've met my father. <laughs> I better get going. It was great meeting you. Hey, I'll walk you out. Bye. Bye, Bye doctor. Take care. Bye. She seems nice. <laughs> Be dying! <laughs> Aren't you dying? Your husband is going to Guatemala with that! I would die! I know that bod! She could be in a white snake video! <laughs> That is some lucky flesh-eating virus that gets her. Uh, hmm. <laughs> die, 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 die. She's gorgeous and she saves lives. Big whoop. I look good sometimes. And I let people cut in front of me in line at the supermarket. Well, I haven't, but I've thought of it. <laughs> Come on, Gracie. You have nothing to worry about. I know that. I, I'm very secure in my relationship. I love my husband, and I know that he loves me. I would die! Oh, Saria, where the hell are you? Get your rump into the rumpus room and get rid of all this junk. Lady, I told you the doctor said I shouldn't lift anything. I pulled a muscle. I keep forgetting you're laid up. Can I get you anything? No. Actually, I could use a bolus. <laughs> hey, Care, what you doing in the playroom? Oh, hi, honey. Since Stan's in the clink and the stepkids are spending most of their time with first wife, I uh, decided to turn it into something useful. You know, like a laboratory or uh, an Indian casino. <laughs> Wow, you got an Xbox. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Just because my husband's in prison does not mean you could talk dirty to me. <laughs> the hell is he 
doing here anyway? He is here because I cannot tolerate two of the most important people in my life not getting along. Now, I will not have my family go the way of other showbiz families. <laughs> so the three of us are gonna stay in this room until you two can find the love for each other. And nobody but nobody is leaving until we get this done. Oh my God, my corpse audition just got moved up. I gotta run. <laughs> Listen, you two, work it out. Remember, <laughs> find the love! this apartment or this tub until I know that you are totally whole. <laughs> Not another word. You know what, I'm getting a little chill, so could you close the door, please? From the other side. You seem fine. Why are you so drank when we together the same amount? Hey, you don't look so good. Not so much fun peeking behind the wall, is it? No. People like us, we should just leave the walls up and all the feelings on the other side. What do you say we start stacking those bricks back up? Hmm? Good idea. Me first. Um, oh, the, the time that the football team caught me ki kissing that poster of the football team? <laughs> Never happened. My eighth birthday, which my mother celebrated by changing my name and moving us to Vancouver. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Ooh, or the time that I told my first boyfriend I loved him, and he said, did you just eat falafel? <laughs> Doesn't hurt. The horrible muffled cries of Patty Hearst from behind that closet door. <laughs> Oh, what about, what about Stan coming back? That's, that's a big old brick. Hmm. I think I need to leave that one out for a while. Really? Well, it hurts, but I may need to take a peek again. Huh. I'll leave one out too. I had the perfect guy and the perfect job and I threw it all away. Honey, I said leave out a brick, not blow out an archway. <laughs> but you know, I do feel a little better. Yeah, I'm glad. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Okay, second door on your left. Harumi, get your violin and spatula and meet Mr. Truman in the john. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? <laughs> We've been upstairs for half an hour waiting for you to turn on the TV. Yeah, Rosario. Thanks to you, we missed our show. What if Martha Stewart was nice today? You two are like dumb and drunker. Don't you love our Roro? Let's tickle her! Doug Pollard, Rosie! <laughs> Now, please, I have to finish this sweater for Mr. Stan so you can take it to him tomorrow when you visit him. Oh, I'm not going tomorrow. But he's expecting you at 10. Yeah? Well, I've got other plans. I'll be in the observatory watching Woody Allen get it on with his daughter wife. <laughs> How can you be so heartless? Mr. Stan, he suffers in prison. You haven't been to visit him in weeks. Oh, please. The only one who suffers is the guy in the bunk underneath his, waking up every morning with a mouthful of mattress. <laughs> if I've learned anything from the Dalai Lama by way of Richard Gere, it's that suffering is the state of mind. Quite like 
heterosexuality or the Midwest. You schmucks couldn't last three nights in prison. Take away your freedom. Hell, take away your pantyhose, you'll be crying like a baby. Hey, that happened once, and how dare you reveal secrets from our marriage bed? In fact, you couldn't last three nights in this room. Well, neither could you. Lady, I live in this room. Oh, well, all I'm saying is, I could do it. Easy. Really? Care to make it interesting? Are you suggesting? Are you asking me to take my top off? <laughs> Slow down, Gypsy Rose Lush. <laughs> what I'm talking is three nights in this room. And if either one of you leave before your time is up, you have to visit Mr. Stan every day for a month. All right. But if we win, you have to give me a weekend at the country house and let me hunt you. We lost our fox. <laughs> Deal. Hmm. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. How did I become a part of this? What's in it for me? Well, as my cellmate, you'd be my bitch. You'd be subject to being molested at any time, day or night. <laughs> Three days, starting now. Good luck, meat. I don't know what to do. I mean, Grace is my friend, and it's not that I don't appreciate what she's done, but enough is enough. I know, Mommy. She's driving me up the wall. <laughs> she sleeps late. She's insulting to the staff. She's turning into one of those mean, abusive, rich people. She should be punched in the neck. Like with an open fist. There's my girl. <laughs> oh, what are we gonna do? <gasps> Wait a minute. I've got an idea. We'll come up with a with a big fancy plan with lots of twists and turns to to make her understand what she's done. I'll hide somewhere and you'll wear big shoes. <laughs> or we could go simpler. Oh, 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 oh! 